What's up, YouTube? It's Rickzilla here with another spectacular video. And with the recent news of Shani and Rev's inevitable eviction, I thought it would be fitting to revisit an article I covered in a previous stream. That's right. Today, I will be looking over Christian Weston Chandler and the Financial Crisis. Financial Crisis. I do not feel I would be mentally suited for an application required long waits to be contacted or not contacted. Am I hired yet under the man freaking job? Stop telling me to get a job. God. Chris. April 2017, after his friends on Facebook refused to entertain his nonsense excuses for not having a job. Truly bad intentions of spamming actual hate speech. Get a job. Chris, too. The financial crisis is a term coined by users from Kiwi Farms to describe the steep decline in the Chandler family's financial management in early 2016. Signs of the Chandler's worsening finances were made apparent by the increasing amounts of begging videos and donation requests on YouTube and Facebook. Here we can see Chris begging for money on camera while standing in a room filled with thousands of dollars worth of Lego sets and toys. Make of this as you will. In June 2017, Chris began to take his Patreon account more seriously and recommended drawing Sonichu comic pages. He has gotten several hundred dollars per month for his efforts and continues to get as much to this day. As a result, begging had temporarily subsided. In mid-2018, however, begging resumed. For the stated purposes of avoiding foreclosure on 14 Branch Lane Court and buying enough food for his family. Chris stopped caring about the financial crisis by 2019 because of the dimensional merge and the generous backing of Ali Hirschberg and other financial enablers. Chris continues to beg, but only for conventions, toys, and video games. Chris now also believes that he has vast wealth in Dimension C-197 to pay off the creditors, but creditors do not buy into fictional worlds and have managed to sue him for at least $10,700.79 as of September 2nd, 2020. Given that Barb is elderly on a fixed income and Chris is lazy on a fixed income, it is unsurprising that many followers worry that the death of Barb could lead to the so-called homeless saga, a wet dream for A-loggers and weeds, but devastating for both Chris and many of his followers. Background. To this day, the Chandler's financial woes are caused by their own irresponsible behaviors. Chris, learning absolutely nothing over the years, has squandered any available money on children's toys, video games, fast food, and sex toys. Barb, on the other hand, has simply been ignoring long-term debts and letting them pile up to alarming amounts, armed with only vain hopes that her man-baby of a son would raise money for her bills. Chris has made 
some efforts to generate income for the household over the past few years, bar that of actually finding a job, which included opening an Etsy shop in 2015. However, any profits gained would immediately go straight to toy purchases, an irresponsible move that would turn out to be a recurring problem that keeps the Chandlers in the red. The shop would eventually shut down from Chris lazily not filling Etsy orders, but he would still find some revenue by the occasional eBay sales of select merch from the Horde. To further compound the issue, Chris has been instilled with a very real belief that fans are willing to drop large sums of money into his bank account for nothing, an expectation that has since been strengthened by the $1,000 donation by d in September 2015. This belief would take on the form of the many begging videos that highlight the saga to this day. Barb seems to have outstanding debts that dwarf Chris's financial handiwork. On September 2016, she faced lawsuits from Discover and Capital One for failing to pay the large amounts of her credit card debt. According to Virginia District Court records, it is worth noting that it takes a lot of ignored debt collector calls over a long period of time to get a simple credit card debt escalated to a lawsuit, suggesting that Barb may have been outright ignoring making any payments to her credit cards. Only time will tell if more creditor companies begin to sue Barb for her neglect. In August 2016, Chris revealed that the household is still under a mortgage of $115,000, introducing a more worrying debt looming over the horizon. Both Chris and Barb continue to barely stay afloat with their lives thanks to their own tugboats, but their inactive lifestyle and reckless spending will not last forever at this rate. Despite it all, Chris has not once attempted to find a job. In April 2017, with the household finance near the breaking point, one of Chris's IRL friends informed him of DARS, a service designed to help people with disabilities enter the workforce. Chris reacted with a temper tantrum, posting a multi-paragraph rant on not wanting to work. Chris's frivolous spending during the crisis. Like any terminally irresponsible adult. Chris likes to keep his bedroom filled with toys while keeping his wallet empty. Below is a list of the known expenses Chris has made during the financial crisis collected from online postings and eBay purchase history. Some amounts are estimated, but all amounts are debilitating. This meme truly defines Chris's financial troubles. Had to pay the mortgage and have no money for Transformers. Please help. During 2016, Chris was known to waste over $2,500 on toys. In late 2017, Chris spent a considerable amount of money to attend BronyCon. Three-day pass tickets were around $60, but money spent on travel, food, souvenirs, and lodging is rounded to $2,000 to $3,000 by other attendees. Below is a list of known frivolous purchases made during the crisis. There are doubtless many more that are not known about, including cash purchases. New PS4 console? 
$540. $540. About 30 game purchases for the PS4. $600. $350 Ghostbusters Lego set bought on eBay for hire. $425.88. Transformer action figures, $587. Naru, a Daki Makura, or Hug Pillow, $90. Skylander Toys, $195. Pokemon Merchandise, $181.79. Amiibo, Smash Series Pit, $12.99. I'm done adulting t-shirt, $23.99. Lego Dimensions, assorted sets, $238. My Little Pony themed card sleeves, $13.54. 14K gold Cleopatra bar, 16 inch necklace, $399.99. Tokyo Treat Box, minimum Thirty-one fifty per month for thirty-one months. Nine hundred and seventy-six dollars and fifty cents. Skylander Avatar products for use as raffle prizes. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Doopy Do Over artwork. Eighty dollars. Xbox One. Four hundred dollars. Xbox Live Gold. Fifty-nine ninety-nine. Xbox games, $89.94. Sonic Forces, $39.99. DNA Ancestry reports on Chris, Barb, and Bob, $500. God of War, PS4, $59.99. Total amount, $6,267.99. The realization that you're going to end up on the streets? Priceless. Why Chris refuses to work? You want money? Get a job. Our response is that we are already employed by your bosses, bosses, bosses due to our better and special powerful abilities. Therefore, for all of your haterade chugging get a job spouters out there, I suggest you shut up and enjoy your ability to settle in a cozy office or whatever. Chris, clinging to his fantasies about the dimensional merch to justify why he is unemployed in the real world. Despite actively begging for money since 2016, a near miss with foreclosure and homelessness in May 2018 Chris has not attempted to get a job. One of his real life friends, a woman from his Pokemon club named Alexa, became concerned after seeing Chris repeatedly beg on Facebook. She, she suggested in November 2016 and again in April 2017 that he contact one of her family members who works at the Virginia DARS, a government service that helps disabled individuals find work. At the, suggest, at the first suggestion, Chris didn't follow through. And at the second, he fired off a rant against getting a job, forcing Alexa to back down. In his rant, Chris gave the following flimsy excuses. He was busy with helping Barb and the pets despite having no trouble in going on a three-day trip to another state without bringing them along in August 2017. Trolls ruined his background check slash reputation. While it is true that a Google search on Chris reveals unsavory details, they are only records of facts, and there are agencies that find work for the slow-in-the-mind adults that would not care about minor crimes or indiscretions. Finding a job runs the risk of being discriminated against for his tom girl gender. Stress, he fears being incompetent. 
Later, Chris added more excuses for not wanting to work. In October 2017, Chris claimed that he was too busy with Quick Fill and his imaginary friends, in addition to helping Barb and the pets. In June 2019, Chris claimed that he was already employed by God to oversee the dimensional merge. Most of his claimed reasons hold no weight. A background check, as explained by Jackie and Kim Wilson many times, only applies to legal records, and Chris's misdemeanors would not prevent him from getting a job. Fellow Lulz cows like William Elliot Waterman and Kenneth Englehart also have their names linked to their internet shenanigans, yet they have gained employment. Furthermore, discrimination on the basis of gender is illegal, especially as a result of a Supreme Court ruling in June 15, 2020. In reality, getting a job would probably reduce his stress over needing to beg in order to afford more toys. His excuses on being fearful of making mistakes and his obsession over his imaginary friends are blocks set down by his own mind, revealing that rather than growing up and assuming responsibility for his future, he would rather remain a man-child forever. Chris's only plausible claim was in May 2018, when he feared that weans and egg logs will harass him at work, similar to how they harassed the management of the endgames and anytime fitness into banning him. Now that's kind of fucked up. Why you shouldn't donate to Chris. Buying things from Chris and or slash or donating to him is not at all recommended, mainly because Chris has habitually neglected his customers. He has repeatedly failed to ship orders to his buyers on time and will ignore messages from customers asking about their purchases or give a myriad of excuses as to why they haven't been shipped. If he does get around to shipping them, his naive methods of packaging often cause items to arrive damaged. Other times, he simply won't ship items at all, as seen perfectly with his Patreon. If Chris is angry enough, he can use your information against you. This was infamously seen when Mr. Smith attempted to purchase a medallion from Chris and, after Chris failed to make and ship one, filed a claim against him on eBay, causing Chris's PayPal to be locked. Chris responded by furiously doxing Mr. Smith and other bot and another buyer on Facebook, both of whom eventually received prank calls from Weens. The information that PayPal releases to eBay sellers includes your name, home address, email address, eBay username, and possibly phone number. In other words, the exact kind of information you wouldn't want a screeching man-child to post in a public place when it's followed by hundreds of cannibalistic internet trolls. Chris will piss away your money, as stated above. Chris and Barb have had a long history of irresponsible spending habits, which is the biggest reason why they've fallen into debt. Even if he does manage to ship something to you without any sort of hassle, or claim he won't spend your cash on toys, chances are still extremely high that Chris will immediately blow your money on Legos, action figures, video games, and or other stuff, and then immediately go back to begging. Future. Although Barb currently claims $900 of Chris's tugboat each month to pay the active mortgage on 14 Branchland Court. The seriousness of the financial crisis combined with Chris's impulse spending have led many followers of Chris to speculate on whether the passing of Bob or Barb will lead to the financial ruin. Chris's future revenue, other than the monthly tugboat and fans' support, is likely to be very limited. 
with some of his followers admitting that Chris will never get any kind of loan or credit. Even if Chris were to reverse his stance and try to get a job, nearly all potential employees would be unwilling to take on someone with little to no skills and over a decade of real life and internet notoriety. Both the state of Virginia and the U.S. federal government have programs intended to help the disabled secure independent living, most famously Section 8 housing. A number of followers have suggested that Chris should sign up for it, though these involve lengthy application processes and possibly several months' waits. On the contrary, financial ruin may be a wet dream for A-loggers and weans, but it would be devastating for both Chris and many of his followers. The 2014 house fire caused a number of followers to doubt whether Chris will be able to cope with sleeping rough with little more than his clothes and medallion, especially after being pampered with toys and video games for many years. Homelessness would also threaten the steady supply of fresh drama that continues to attract new fans and followers from all walks of life and leave them wondering what will happen to Chris and what will he do? Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and if you wanna see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter at rgheimy91. And if you want to uh, reach out to me, I have a Discord. Link is in the description, as well as other means of supporting me. I will be looking forward to doing more videos like this in the near future. That being said, I'm Rick Zilla, and I will see you guys in the near future.